Hey everybody, it's Jake Tapper from CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org. And this week we're going to take a look at one of the claims surrounding that Oval Office meeting where President Trump, according to Democratic Senator Dick Durbin, uh, disparaged Haitian immigrants and attacked the entire continent of Africa. Specifically, we're going to look at the attempt by two Republican senators who were also at the meeting, Tom Cotton and David Perdue, to try to discredit Senator Durbin. Cotton and Purdue both said they did not hear the president make the specific remarks that Durbin says he made. And they also said that Durbin has a, quote, history of misrepresenting White House meetings. Take a listen. Senator Durbin has a history of misrepresenting what happens in White House meetings, though, so perhaps we shouldn't be surprised by that. I'm saying that this is a gross misrepresentation. It's not the first time Senator Durbin has done it. Is that true? Does Senator Durbin have a, quote, history of misrepresenting White House meetings? No, not really. Let's explain. Cotton and Purdue are referring to this 2013 Facebook post where Durbin says, quote, in a negotiation meeting with the president, that would be President Obama, one GOP House leader told the president, I cannot even stand to look at you, unquote. Now that does not appear to be true. According to the Obama White House itself, no Republican leader said to President Obama, I cannot even stand to look at you. Listen to then Obama White House Press Secretary Jay Carney. I looked into this and, and spoke with somebody who was in that meeting and it did not happen. But there's more to the story. Durbin was not actually at that 2013 meeting where Republican leaders met with President Obama. Durbin had been told that somebody in that meeting had said that to President Obama, told by White House staffers. When pressed about this, Durbin said at the time that the White House, quote, gave me a bad quote, and then they said it didn't occur. And the Obama White House confirmed that there was a, quote, miscommunication. Here's Jay Carney again. There was a miscommunication when the White House read out that meeting to Senate Democrats, and we regret the misunderstanding. So while Durbin did share something that was not accurate, the misrepresentation does not appear to have been his fault. It appears to have been the fault of the Obama White House. And Durbin, once he was told, attempted to correct the record and the White House acknowledged that they were responsible. Now Durbin was in attendance at this Trump White House meeting between the president and members of Congress. And this is what Durbin told me he heard with his own ears. I said many things. It went on for probably half an hour. Uh, the most outrageous comment, uh, obviously, is in reference to countries overseas that might send immigrants to the United States, and the president used the vulgar term, which has been repeated over and over again. I mean, it was pretty clear to me what the president's message was in that meeting. So whatever was said in this Trump White House meeting, it's not accurate to say that Durbin has a history of misrepresenting White House meetings. There was a miscommunication, but it wasn't Durbin's fault, and he did attempt to correct the record. A reminder to all you politicians out there, you're perfectly entitled to your own opinions, but not to your own facts. I'm Jake Tapper for CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org.